catching another one, another fly. See how she tugs on the web there? That's to just get a location of the fly. And she bites it. She doesn't even wrap it up in any silk. That's how little she feels for flies. Now flies in their adult form, form a very, very important source of protein for insects. So when we start thinking about how irritating flies are, what we just got to remember is that flies form one of the staple diets of, there she goes, she's wrapping it up in silk. You can see using those back combs to wrap the fly up in a layer of silk, which keeps it immobile. And she'll then probably just hang it underneath her. There she goes. Let's see if she kicks it off. There she goes. She's hanging it up. She might even put it into her larder. Let's see what she's doing now. I think she's enjoying having us around here. She's literally collected. There's another fly in the bottom of her web. She's going to go down there now. That is incredible. There she goes. You can see that, that tugging. There, tugging, that's just to make sure the fly... There we go. And boom, she's got another one. Oh, I'll tell you. Four kills in as many minutes. Sam, you wanted to know if the spider is poisonous. Uh, Sam, all, all spiders have a venom, but not usually of medical importance to people. So while this spider is venomous, she is not venomous to people. So even if she were to bite me and she's a very docile spider, I could probably put the spider on my hand, on my head, and it wouldn't actually make any difference. She wouldn't bite me at all. And even if she did bite me, the venom is of no consequence to humans. Might be a bit sore. She's got quite long fangs. But other than that, it won't do much. But obviously to flies and to other insects, this particular spider's venom is deadly. And uh, will serve a few purposes. It also serves to liquidate the flies itself. And will turn them into sort of a fly milkshake, which she will then suck out and empty. And you can see above her over there in her larder, there is a lot of empty husks of dinner and lunch and breakfast that she's had before. Now, there's a lot of speculation as to why these spiders sort of build those larders. I personally like to think of it as a, as a dual purpose function, is that it stores food, but it also acts as a visual, uh, a visual, how do I say, a, a marker so that animals that are walking through here don't necessarily walk through her web. What they don't want to do is you don't want to have animals breaking the web all the time and she has to keep on repairing it the whole time. Now 